Ladies and gentlemen, another day in GBL and another Summer Cup team. So this team was actually recommended in the comments section of the last video. Uh, someone said that I should try out Skeledurge with Ferrothorn and uh, Cradilly in the back. So I decided to try it out, and I actually love this team. Um, I think up to this point, this is my favorite team. Um, I actually played six sets with it. Uh, which I don't normally do, and usually I play three sets for uh, for a team. But I will say the last couple of days I have been trying a ton of other teams in this cup, and not having a lot of success with them. I tried uh, I tried Munchlax out for a couple sets. It was terrible, but it could have been the team I made, I guess. Um, I really didn't like Munchlax, which says a lot because I love Munchlax, but. Um, I also tried out Typhlosion, and it just felt a little too squishy, Shadow Typhlosion specifically. Maybe I should have tried regular one, um, but yeah, the Shadow was just a bit too squishy for me. Um, that was another couple of sets, so a lot of teams I've been trying out in the background, and I'll tell you, they weren't working out, and that's good for y'all, because it means when the teams that I actually show on, on this channel are the ones that made it, so a lot of losing teams the last couple of days so i was really glad to uh run into this team or uh see this team in the comment section because running this team was it was a pleasure this is a fun team i'm not showing all the battles here because i if i showed six sets of battles that would just be this would be an hour and a half long video even sped up i don't know so yeah we're just going to go into the team real quick um i will say for the first few battles well let's go ahead and get into the battles and i'll say it there all right if you haven't, definitely hit the subscribe button. If you think you're subscribed, go ahead and check, and then subscribe if you're not. And if you are, thank you. All right, so for the first... Oh, we'll go ahead and start here. But for the first couple of battles, I... Um, oh, God, the cameras. I was running Stone Edge on Cradilly. Um, I quickly changed that. You can see in the... Uh, the graphic over here I show rock slide I uh, switched to rock slide as soon as I run into a really bad matchup with stone edge now I wasn't trying to run stone edge necessarily but um just so happened to be the thing that was on my credilly also I think my credilly's got some bad CP here yeah 1484 it's just whatever one I had I didn't even check the IVs didn't see if I had could make another one this is just what I had and I'm not gonna spin dust when I already have them on all right so uh, we ended up taking out the Quagsire there. I missed the lead. I guess it was... I don't know what the lead was now that I think about it. But um, yeah, they come in Mantine, I guess... Oh, it was Charger Bug. That was right. So Charger Bug lead here into Skeletor. Skeletor is obviously really good in this matchup. They are going to throw the Discharge. Um, and five turn moves can be really awkward. Um, I like throwing two, which is ten turns. Um, and it takes them 12 turns to throw three volt switches. This is just an awkward, um, you know, turn, uh, awkward, awkward fast attack turns for these mon five, five for incinerate and four for volt switch. It's just like, try to get in anything you can and whatever happens, happens. All right. Uh, yeah, obviously we have thunder on, on, uh, Barathorn, so if you know me from last season and even prior seasons, Ferrothorn is a very fun mod to run. It's just, it's actually better than it seems. It's it's kind of sad how Ferrothorn is not used that much in Open Great League. I think it's actually really good. Um, it feels like it's just right on the fringe of being like Pokemon play playable, you know? It's on the fringe of being like meta. But it, it's it's still good, obviously, just being on the fringe, but... Yeah, tough. Uh, Talonflame here. This is where this team can run into problems. Firemon for this team is very tough to deal with because uh, one, if it's Talonflame, they win CMP against Skeleturge. Two, if it's their own Skeleturge, you run into this awful scenario where you're going to CMP on every move. And not only that, it becomes a weird baiting game as well because if they throw the disarming voice it's obviously resisted or if you throw it as well but um if if they throw the shadow ball it's gonna one shot so it 
it's really tough. And also Typhlosion can be a little tough for this team as well because you're not really threatening it. So it is able to build up, whereas when I was using Typhlosion in a team that will never get released because it was awful, um, uh, when I was using it, it uh, it's taking a lot of fast attack damage, whereas in this team it's literally resisting all the fast attacks of all these Mon and even a lot of the charge attacks, which is kind of just crazy this, t this teammate or this person had a venusaur in the back so all right so they switch into typhlosion here i decided to just go straight for the shadow ball and i'll probably just switch into cordelia after this um they end up not shielding and thank goodness because i don't know what we would have done if they shielded that <laughs> charger bug lead a lot of them do stay in here um again i'm probably not showing like 50 to 60 percent of the battles because it's just not enough time in a video to do that and this team they actually had wigglytuff so i decided to go up to full energy and since i already have another counter to wigglytuff in ferrothorn uh being a steel type i'm just going to go with that instead of just throwing my energy with um with skeleturge into this since i already have just such a dominant matchup over here i'm going to go up to 100 energy and then just like take this this dominant matchup so it's eight charms to the first icy wind and I assume it's seven charms to the second. I don't actually know if it's seven or eight. So I decided to farm up uh, a lot here. And uh, yeah, we're going to be one away. I think I farmed up seven. Yeah, it's because I figured I would win CMP. But I'm going to go up to one away from the next one. Because if they do try to go for another Volt Switch, I can at least get another uh, Power Whip in. They do get greedy. This is, a, this is a crazy farm down. And I could even uh, switch in combo. Or even switch and take the farm down here. End up going for a disarming voice against this lantern. Obviously, you want to go for Shadow Ball in this matchup. But I already have another grass. It's fine. Um, this one running Spark. I've run into the Spark variant. I've run into the Water Gun variant. Um, which ones do I think is being used more? I think that... I think that Water Gun is being used more. But it's probably not by that much, to be honest. It's probably like 55, 45. Decidueye. Okay, so safe swapping Vigoroth happens a ton. And these games, they get really weird because half of these Vigoroths bait, the other half don't. And I end up just double shielding no matter what. Because the ones that bait, like this guy means that they can get there before I get there uh, if I go for very efficient move timing, which I'm going to try to go for. So I know a rock slide's coming. I'm now going to be at 100 energy. I can throw a disarming voice. I probably should have thrown one before. But I thought about farming down, but if they were on a six cycle, we would lose that game. So I decided not to do it there. Um, I go for two here since I know they're three away from the next move, which is either a fly or a brave bird. Um, I've seen some Brave Bird, I've seen some Fly, I go for the, they actually wait the turn here, they wait like three turns, which is funny, but, uh, yeah, okay, I'm gonna come in with Cordilly, I know that I can at least take this out with the, well, unfortunately a Stone Edge, but, um, we're gonna be one away, I did not know that this has Brave Bird, if I'm being honest, because I get hit by a brave bird. And it actually does so freaking much damage. And this is... Spirit Shackle? Wow, Frenzy Plant. I double resist Frenzy Plant, and they... St look how much damage it did. That's crazy. Decidueye just has a, such a high attack stat. I try to go for, like, a farm down here. And I figure this is going to be best case scenario. Because I do want... If I don't end up farming down, I get the farm down with Cordilly. And I was one away from that Stone Edge anyways. Um, Ferrothorn, I'm still running Stone Edge here. I promise you, I don't run Stone Edge for more than one set, or maybe it was two sets, uh, because I really hated Stone Edge. And Rock Slide is just faster to get to. Having a bait move and not having these two gigantic moves um, is just a lot better, especially in, like, uh, the Mantine matchup, where you're both hitting each other for neutral. It is nicer to have uh, the Rock Slides. Plus, in any scenario where you do need a bait to get to the enough energy in time, you're going to need, well, a bait move. That makes sense. Um, I, yeah, I don't end up shielding this. If it is the thunder, it's going to do about half. That's fine. We have a lot of energy. I'm going to throw some energy into this Quagsire. 
Uh, hopefully get another shadow ball off whatever's in the back. I'm assuming it's another grass. Maybe Obama Snow is what I think is going to be in the back. Ends up being Toxapex. So this is really fantastic for me. We do resist the Poison Jabs. We resist the Brine. We resist uh, the uh, Sludge Wave. But I'll probably shield this because I think Sludge Wave is maybe one of the stronger moves left. Unless they have Mud Bomb on uh, Quagsire. So, yeah. This is not going to KO, but it's going to get really close, and I can get a farm down. Yeah, even one bullet seed away. Toxapex is really not too tough for my team. Um, I guess the worst matchup is Cradilly. Even Skeleturge is kind of fine into Toxapex. They are hitting you for resisted because Ghost does resist poison. Um, and Brine is not even that good of a move. At half HP, you will survive a Brine on uh Skeleturge, so i probably wouldn't let it hit me the first time at least and your shadow balls are doing a lot Skeleturge does have a high attack stat or a decent attack stat i should say but it's more of the toxic not having a very good attack stat at all because it's very defense weighted they end up coming with a lickitung here i did run into a fair amount of lickitungs maybe like three in six sets maybe four um so not that much but more than i thought to be honest so I end up getting a little bit of extra farm there on the Skeletor. I just want to try to ramp up for possible later uh, damage. If I can ever get a Shadow Ball on a something, that would obviously be enough for maybe a shield, um, I'm hoping. Uh, but maybe they're running double normal, although they'd be really weak to like Polyrath if this was their team. Triple weak to counter, so maybe maybe not going to be Vigoroth in the back. But um, I know I can win this matchup, and I go for as much energy as I can. because, And I want to go one away from the next um from the next power whip because i know that i can throw under a volt switch here that was the reason to go up this to this exact energy um and plus i'm really close to getting ko'd by the licks there um ends up being a dunsparce i just gained a little bit of extra energy and then i figured this matchup's not that bad and they actually end up throwing the rock slides here and i don't know if that's the right play um rock slide and drill run are neutral and i feel like drill run does more but you guys can let me know in the comments below i i haven't really played much done sparse and and when i did it was during the knock towel meta so it's been quite a while since i played done sparse but um it is interesting in this in this um in this cup because it has such good coverage but um, yeah, gonna let Cordelli go. Um, I'm totally fine coming into this matchup and using shields for this Dunsparce. I'll probably use one and go for farm down here. Well, I have to use however many of this Dunsparce does. But I definitely, okay, the reason I throw here is because I don't want to take a wild charge from uh, Magnazone. And instead we just have the two shield flex. Vigoroth. So obviously this is my best matchup against Vigoroth. It is super effective. You saw I did wait a turn there. Uh, well, I didn't technically wait a turn. I waited for the full animations to go through. I made it up to 100 energy, and then I decided to switch into Ferrothorn, which is obviously a very hard counter to um, Toxapex. You see how much damage that really doesn't do? The problem is it does take two Thunders to KO, and if they do go for a shield, you probably have to end up shielding even though, well... I don't know. You do live this sludge wave. You don't even really have to shield it. You're going to have like 15 to 20% HP left in the end. Yeah, it looks like close to 20. So I'm going to go for a little bit of extra energy, go up to 100 here, even though I technically would go up to like 110. I really over-energied, but I wanted to make sure I was at least at 100. Um, and then I, again, I'm one away from the next move when they're throwing a four-turn move and I'm throwing a three-turn move. So I know that I'm always going to get this move off and hopefully they don't get too much energy. Um, I do decide to come in with Cradilly here, even though they do have super effective uh, X Scissors. I do this because I know that Skeletor is so good against both of these Mon that I'm kind of throwing Cradilly away right now. And whatever damage Cradilly does, whether it's taking shields or actually doing it, uh, legit damage to a Mon, uh, I'm fine with this. I, again, I'm already all in on Skeletor. I'll probably just switch right now. Um, oh, it actually does KO. They end up coming back in with the. Um, with the Vigoroth, I was just like the ape, and then I thought I started thinking of Annihilate, but both counter users are, are monkeys. That's interesting, I guess. What a weird thing to think of. All right, uh, we throw on 
uh, uh, we throw every one, three, five, every odd number basically, because they're throwing two turn moves, we're throwing to five turn moves. So if they throw three counters, that's going to be six turns, and our one incinerate is going to be five turns. So again, we want to throw uh, every one, every odd number, one, three, five, seven. Although you shouldn't be doing seven incinerates. It only takes five to get to 100 energy as it's 20 energy per incinerate. I don't know if that helps you all, but uh, that is one of the energy counts I do know. So hopefully that does something. Um, yeah, another switching to ape. I mean, this is par for the course. Again, we don't know if they're going to throw body slam or rock slides. So just always shield. They almost always throw body slam. It's so sad because we double resist. If they throw again, they can make it to the rock slide, so we have to shield again. It's just, uh, Vigoroth is so strong in this cup. I really, I really love this team, and I think the cup's fine, but I really want a cup where Vigoroth's banned. Is there, is it just asking too much to have a Vigoroth ban, or, or what? We end up catching here uh, on the Toxapex, which is great, but, um, Again, we're at 100 energy on Skeledurge, so it's going to be fine to face this Toxapex later, even with a Skeledurge, especially after a Thunder has come off here. Um, and they do end up shielding it, and they come back in with the Charger Bug. But we're going to do a lot of damage here. I don't think that we can actually KO it in two Grass Knots, uh, but Grass Knot is the move you want to be throwing. It's less energy and more energy efficient, so... Yeah, definitely what you want to be going for. And, and both are resisted, so they both have the same um, basic damage. Like when They basically have the same multiplier of damage to this. So we go for the combo play. Again, an, a reason to have 100 energy on Skeledurge is to be able to combo play. And they end up coming in. It feels like they went for CMP. Maybe they have one turn delay. I didn't see a move come through. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, the, I remember why I showed this game. Because it's... I don't know what's happening. I, there's no ball on the top left. And their move comes through, but it's like 15 seconds later. And everything's taking so much time. Look, we're paused again. I figure when I like throw my screen up like that, I feel like it resets the game for me. But I don't know what was happening. It's That wasn't... I don't know. It didn't feel like the normal lag. Because... In the normal lag, after one, after the charge attack, there's no more pausing. There seemed to be a lot of pausing during this. I don't know what was going on. Um, they come in with the Talon Flame. As you can see, we are now running Rock Slide, and the graphic is correct. And they take it on Talon Flame, and they get instead. Um, I go for good timing here. You, if uh, as a three-turn move user, you want to throw every three against a five-turn user. Uh, again, three times three is nine, which is less than two times five, which is ten. So they throw here. We've already got a little bit of an energy advantage or a uh, shield advantage rather. So then I come back in with my Skeledurge and um, I'm going to shield and we're going to just probably go for the Shadow Balls. I don't see a reason not to. Um, probably could have waited to see a Incinerate come through just to make sure not throw this onto like, well, I guess it was fine throwing into the Swamper. We did already see the Swamper, didn't we? That's right. All right, for Alligator, they end up coming in with a Skeledurge. I throw basically when I can, which is, uh, again, good timing here. And they end up shielding. And now is a question of, should I go for another shield? And I decide that it is worth it. And I can go three here, but I can also just throw after one if I don't think I'm ever going to make it to another move anyways. But it looks like I go for good timing just in case they do something bad, but Unfortunately, we're two bullet seeds off the next one anyways, and they would, excuse me, they would always throw uh, one more anyways, and we would never be able to do anything after that. I'll probably go for the shield farm down here. They actually get a delay there or something, so I actually end up getting a full farm down, which, uh, good for me, but we were always going to win this. We still have a uh, Ferrothorn against a water type here. Oh, well, yes. Do we know what their last mon is? I don't even know. But if I remember, this is a Stone Edge, which I thought was weird for them to throw anyways. Oh, yeah, it was the Ferrothorn. Well, now we have way too much energy. They stayed in that, that Quagsire matchup for way too long. Um, was their timer up? I think their timer was up, so it's kind of weird that they stayed in that long. But, oh, well. More, uh... 
more energy for us, I guess. They're going to be able to get to one more move. Um, even if it's a mud bomb, we're not facing the shadow. Oh, they're very low anyways. Probably would have been able to incinerate down. For the Toxapex, I like going for three incinerates and then switching to Ferrothorn. I'm sure you've already seen that in the video. Sometimes they throw the brine, uh, but most of the time they don't. Uh, and then they always have Vigoroth in the back. So just going to try to get a shield here. You can almost always get a shield against the Vigoroth as the Ferrothorn because even though the counter damage is super effective, you do resist the body slam because you're steel typing and then you resist the rock slide as well because of the steel typing as well. So um, yeah, good to throw on good timing here, but also we're only ever going to get two moves off. They get to farm us all the way down. They're going to have a little bit of energy. Probably we're going to end up going for two shields here on Skeleturge. Um, except that we did farm up a move, so now they can decide whether or not they're going to shield, and if they do shield, we'll probably go for double shields as well. They don't. We come in with, uh, Cradilly, and I think, really luckily, they did not try to stay in that matchup to do damage, but, um, these guys always throw the seed bomb, and I feel like I just want energy on Skeleturge anyway, so I'm going to let this go down. They actually don't end up throwing the Shadow Ball, but I'm going to throw right away. This is bad timing, but I don't know the count necessarily, and then they end up just taking it. So they, I guess they want the shield here for the uh, Toxapex, and they do a good undercharge, or maybe that's just how much damage it did, but then they tried to throw right away, and we did not get the one-turn delay, which means we snuck an incinerate, and that is bad for them. Again, in this matchup, another two-turn move user, so you want to throw on every odd one, three, five, and probably just when you have the move at those, don't you don't no need to go to like five. That can be kind of risky. Um, since the first Shadow Ball went through, I'm just going to be able to go for a um, uh, Disarming Voices, man, uh, Disarming Voice, I'm thinking Dazzling Gleam, and, and I was like, that is not the name of the move, and I'm going to get to both of these moves at the same time, and again, look at this HP, I'm taking a water move on Skeleturge, who's not very tanky, and you live, um, Brian's just a bad move, and Toxpex is just a very bulky mon, so not doing a lot of damage, that was a sweet game, <laughs> All right, Mantine, another Mon that Skeleturge isn't the most afraid to see. Sometimes they're running a weird switch to run to switch something that's double weak to grass into a grass. They end up taking it. Maybe they just miss switched. They end up coming back in with Mantine, which is whatever. But um, yeah, sometimes these uh, Mantine are never aren't even running Water Pulse, so there's really not a lot to be scared of for the Skeleturge, but you just never know um, until they show their move set. And I think against the Squidly, he never shows anything except for um, Aerial Ace. But we're not going to get KO'd by this next one, but I don't think he can farm down either. So yeah, he's going to have to go for another Aerial Ace. Unfortunately for us, he is going to outpace. It only takes them 10 turns to get to a move, and it takes us 12 turns. So even though... Well, we never got any advantage because we threw right away against the um, against the Whizcash. But, you know, it's fine. We did get a shield. I decided to come in with Skeleturge, and I'll shield once and go for the farm down. It's basically what I was thinking. Um, I figured the thing in the back... We've already seen two waters. Bubble, bubble Beam is not a move you see too often. Um, if this is Mud Bomb, that's worst case scenario. In, in all of the um, Quagsire matchups, Mud Bomb is the worst but for for Ferrothorn, but it's pretty good overall no matter what. So yeah, we're going to throw on good timing here, and then we'll throw one more and then throw again. Um, probably both of these end up getting shielded. Oh, they only have one shield. Okay, well, then he gets KO'd here and probably going to be able to throw a Grass Knot into the Mantine as well. Oh, it's pretty low. We'll Seed Bomb it down. Sweet. Oh my god, I wanted to show this team because it's toxic. Uh, so they had... Uh, oh, what's the name of this Mon? Mag Cargo, that's right. They have Mag Cargo, and if you saw, it did not have Incinerate, or it would have been stuck in there for a little bit. So that's kind of good for me, kind of bad. Um, they probably have a Grass Mon in the back, because this is trying to be like Grass Hole, but in Summer Cup. I decided to go for the Shield here, because I'm pretty sure I can get the other Shield from this victory bell um and although they're going to get a decent amount of farm there's not too much that the victory bell can hit us with on the skeleturge we resist everything so i decided you know what i'm going to take shields now in the hope that i can throw 
um, some of these, hopefully get some Shadow Balls into the Mag Cargo. And this spell Leaf Blade, and Leaf Blade from a Shadow Victory Bell, even though it is resisted, is going to do a lot. Oh, it ends up being Acid Spray. Uh, which means I should probably not be taking a lot of these, um, what are they called, Rock Throws? <laughs> when my defense is double lowered. And then they end up staying in, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to just throw this Power Whip, because they are half Rock type, or they have a subtyping of Rock. So this is going to be neutral damage against the Mad Cargo, and Mad Cargo is not the best mod in the world. So yeah. And against Grass Mod, you do want to throw the Grass Knot. It is resisted, as so is the Thunder. But it, again, is a better move. And I just had to go for the bait here because I want to try to gain some sort of advantage. I don't... I think my Skeletor is very low attack, so I don't think I win CMPs. So... Okay, we... <laughs> we do get the CMP here. And uh, I just had to shield because I can get a second shield here. And now it's a matter of... Well, I'll probably have to shield again and then throw this Shadow Ball right away. But since they've already thrown a Shadow Ball, the best they can do is... Well, the best they can do is get KO'd, basically. So I don't know if they're going to try to catch on another Mon or... Yeah, because we're going to be a little bit ahead because of the bait. And that's great for me because Skeletor is... Talent Flame. <laughs> I go for the catch here because I figure I'm going to need the Skeletor. I'm going to need that energy on the Skeletor. And it ends up being a Victory Bell in the back, which means I'm going to get the Rock Slide off. Um... I don't know why I just didn't throw right away. It didn't matter. I was only ever going to get one move off. But when I come back, when I come in with the, I'm going to come in with the Ferrothorn here. And I basically want to go up to 100 energy and then throw a Power Whip at this thing. Because I want to have the chance to throw the Thunder at the, um, at the Talon Flame. So this team was ABA Fire, which is a little weird. So they're going to get another move off here because I'm going to go for 100 energy. Oh, Okay, and I should be one away from the Thunder at this point. So we have enough to live and incinerate, plus I still have the move. And actually, if I remember, this actually doesn't KO, and I'm quite surprised because Thunder is a huge move. But I guess since it doesn't have Stab, it's just not as good, especially on a low uh, low attack stat, Barathorn or Mon in general. Again, we lag out of a game. I don't know. A lot of weird stuff in uh, GBL today. All right, that's going to be it. It was a very long video, I think, but um, probably my favorite team to run so far. The Maybe i got to figure out a way to get Shadow Quagsire onto this team, and then it would be actually the best, because I thought Shadow Quagsire was my favorite mon to run so far in this cup, but I think this team is my favorite team. Thanks to whoever said this in the comments. I believe I replied to you in the comments with something like, nice, or I'll try this out because I saw that in the comments and I was like, oh, that does sound like a sweet team. And not a lot of people running grass. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, okay, let me finish my thought. Not a lot of people running grass, but I decided why not? Double grass sounds pretty fun. Why not try that out? So I did, another team I tried out was a Tropius team and it was also terrible. So I tried Tropius, Munchlax, and Typhlosion, and I hated all three of them. They were not, not on the same team. Although I think my Typhlosion, or not Typhlosion, I think my Munchlax was on the same team as my Tropius, so maybe it was just two teams. And no, I'm pretty sure I tried three different teams, and I hated all three of them, and that was like two days' worth of sets. So those were all gone, but we did find this team, and I did play six sets of this team, and it was very fun. So... You should try this team out. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you haven't, definitely hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, thank you for watching the video, and if you want to continue to support me, definitely click that subscribe button. You'll see any content coming out, and if you want another video on this same league for some more tips and tricks to other teams, check that video out right there, and I'll see you in the next one.